In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a simple vintage t-shirt design using a photo like this one right here, and I'm gonna do it all in Canva. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to design a t-shirt in Canva, more specifically a vintage style t-shirt with a photo. So if you see my last video right here um, on Old Navy, I showed some of the Old Navy t-shirt designs that had a vintage photo and some text in it. I'm gonna try and replicate that in Canva. And I'm gonna show you some of the steps that I'm gonna do. This is gonna be all online. You're not gonna need anything else. You're just gonna to have to go on to canva.com. You can follow along this tutorial. Some of the things I may be using may be the pro account, but you can just use some of the things that are not pro and follow along. So we're gonna get into Canva right now and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so here we are on Canva, canva.com. I have the pro account, but don't worry. There are some things that you can use that are free. I'm gonna hit create design uh, and then custom size and I like my 4500 by 5400. You can type that in if you don't have this as a preset and there, boom, artboard. Um, first thing we're gonna do is find a photo. So let's go here to elements and we can go to type in um, one of the things that we saw on there that I saw was like a rocky beach, outdoor beach. You can type whatever you want, trees, mountains. Uh, I'm gonna do um, rocky beach. Let's see if that comes up. And we would just want photos. And we got some really cool ones, right? Look at this. Now you could pick any one of these. Um, let's just do this one. I like that. Really cool. And let's see where that is. So we can click on here. And we can see Rocky Beach and Cabo San Lucas. So Cabo, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can pick any one of these knowing if you don't know where they are. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put this in a frame. So if you're not familiar with frames, if we click all of this out, you'll notice frame is right up here. You can click on these or you could scroll down and then there's frames right here. So I'm gonna just do it easy, frame and you can pick any one of these shapes. To make it easy, let's just pick the circle, but of course you could pick any one of these. I mean, you could get even funky with some of these ones right here, which I think are really cool. So, um, but let's do circle just to make it easy. We're gonna take the photo and put it in the frame. See how easy that was? So now my photo's in the frame. Now, if you wanna move and maybe don't want that as the center, double click on it and move. Maybe you want that big rock there, or maybe you want that there. Either way, um, you know, you could do it like that. Now, if you want the rock on the other side, um, you could flip it to maybe you want the rock on that side. That's, that's cool as well. Either way, the first thing I'm gonna do is go into photos. We can edit the image and we can do some filters. So you notice on, on there, it's not this bright, like this thing, um, like a regular photo. There's some filters on it. There's some really cool ones right here. You can do, you know, like this blue, or this Nordic, or this retro, right? Retro is really cool. That's what we're going for. We're going for like a retro look anyway. Um, we could also come in here and click on uh, Trippy or Pixelate or any one of these as well. Let's do Photogenic. And you'll see down here, if you scroll, we also have some vintage stuff. So we could do some something like this or something like this, right? Really cool, look at that, that's uncool. So we're kind of playing around with the colors a little bit. Another thing you could do with the colors is, let's say you want this, but you want it lighter. So you can play with the opacity or transparency and kind of kind of do it even more faded like that. Isn't that cool? So there you go. So one thing you wanna do as well as manipulate the photo is you may wanna put some text on here or maybe some other things to make it feel more retro and 70. So first, next thing we're gonna do is type in some text. We'll hit T for text and you can see here, we noticed that it was Cabo. So let's just do Cabo. Um, I'm gonna do something different though. I'm gonna just do a C here and I'll show you why. Because I'm gonna use some of these retro letters here. I'm gonna just type in retro. 
and you can see all these different fonts, uh, retro fonts. So I want this one, well, maybe this one. Let's try this one. And I'm gonna make it big. And I'm gonna use a capital, capital C, is that the capital C? Yeah, all right. And then we know this is Cabo. So why don't we do something like this? One way that we can do, we, I saw this on um, Old Navy, right? Where they had the letter staggering. Right, could do something like that. And then individually we can make these, kind of give it that retro look. Cabo. Now, if you want to make the same colors as the photo, maybe we don't want that dark black. We can come in here and you can see the colors of the photo as well. So maybe we want to do it, maybe that brown or, or a little darker, right? Let's try. Yeah, let's try that. That's kind of neat. Or even the blue, that kind of gets lost, right? And try any of these colors. So. That's kind of cool, or pick your own color. The next thing I would do is maybe find some graphics. So let's type in here and go to graphics and let's do 70s graphics since we're doing that. Um, maybe a 70s star or sun. And I, I want it static. I don't want it animated, so let's do that. Yeah, so you can see a ton of stuff here. Now maybe we want this here, you know, that could be cool here or like that. Not neat, good with that vintage look. Now again, you could color this the same color, like come in here and pick that brown instead, or, you know, maybe it's not that color, maybe it's blue instead like that, just to kind of match the colors. So either way, and then maybe a nice sun up here. So let's do a 70s sun. Oh, you got some cool stuff here. I'm looking for like a sun with a face. Let's see if we scroll down. So I found, I found this one right here. This isn't a sun, but it's a, a fun face one. And, uh, and this can kind of make it look, whoops. Just be careful, don't put it in. <laughs> That could be fun like that too. So either way, uh, oh, maybe this sun right here. Oh, that's a fun sun. Let's do that. Right? Kind of incorporate some of the, those things. Now, if you want to make this bigger, you can group these and maybe, you know, play around with the shape and things. And then once you find what you want to do, you can uh, make it bigger. that on the shirt and do that and again you can play with this if this one if you want to fade this back even more you can and do that so there you go very simple vintage design so now that I have it the way that I want it very simple of course I could add more things to it add more graphics and, and colors and things but this is pretty simple I'm gonna share it I'm gonna download this if you have the pro version, you can click the transparent background and download it and then upload it to your um, print on demand of choice. I'll show you what it looks like on a t-shirt. If you don't have the pro version, you're gonna have to uh, knock out the background in different ways. You can use uh, uh, different applications. I have lots of different videos for that, Photopea or Preview or things like that. But let me show you what it looks like on a t-shirt now. So here I am on Merch by Amazon. You can see I brought in the photo, uh, the design that we made in Canva. If you didn't know this, you can turn off the guides right here and you can kind of see, kind of get a preview of what it would look like on a t-shirt and then move, move things up. Maybe you want it, you know, right there instead, kind of center it and check out the different colors. So on light blue, it looks like this. On black, you know, the letters, um, you probably need a different color letters, but it looks, the photo looks cool on black, right? And you got the Heather Gray. It looks great on white because that's what we had it. So um, also on V-neck, you can see this is what it would look like on a V-neck. Uh, again, turn off the guides if you want to see it without the guides and kind of try it with different colors. Again, um, 
you may want to try these colors in the background of Canva so that you can see what it would look like on those. But you can see it has that vintage look, right? Uh, and the and the photo shows up um, kind of transparent, like we're we're doing a little bit and the different colors. And you can see very vintage look. So it looks very similar to the ones that we were showing on Old Navy. I think it has a great texture. I would play around with the shapes as well. Maybe you don't want a circle. Maybe you want uh, some of those other things, maybe a heart or something. And then play around with the colors. You can kind of really change the colors of the photo, pick different photos. Maybe one with palm trees would be cool or trees do really well. It's trees and mountains and, and things like that do really well outdoor scenes we saw and then play around with your text make sure that they work on different colors but that's it very simple tutorial on canva um, i didn't show you exactly what to design but i'm showing you all the techniques that you could use by putting graphics and text and photos in frames in canva so have fun with this um, play around with it uh, again you have to put lots of different things together in canva you can't just use the photo you can't just use graphics but when you put it all together then it's okay so have fun with your vintage style t-shirt on Canva. Make a ton of them. Hope you get lots of sales. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you. Now you can make some of those. Uh, you could scale those, make a lot of different ones. Plays with the shapes, like I said, and, and photos. So many photos out there and so many ways to kind of distort the photos too. So have fun with that on Canva. Uh, if this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. The question of the day for this video is, what photo would you use? What a different place would you use? Los Angeles or Chicago or uh, maybe a different place? What's your favorite um, place to have a photo? Maybe leave that in the, in the comments right there. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more Canva tutorials, click on these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one, bye.